Hey everybody and welcome to a live session with me, Robert Fenton, on the Build Your Instagram to uh, make leads into sales and I thought I would hop on here tonight and talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things that are on your mind. So I asked earlier in the post um, what it is you wanted me to talk about today and I had some great ideas but before I go into those you might be wondering, well who's this guy hopping on Facebook Live? And just to kind of let you know, my name is Robert Fenton. I am the admin for a very successful Instagram uh, account called The Food Prep Life. We are crawling up to almost 40,000 followers as of this week. Not just 40,000 followers either, like very strong, engaged followers, and I love it. So, you know, I've been building that account since about August. And then also I have another account I'm building up on the, uh, on the, for the band Evanescence. It's a great time. Uh, we're about almost 3,000 followers there. So, and then I have my own personal account, Robert Fenton, in which I dispense great Instagram knowledge out to the world. So I have about seven years social media marketing and training under my belt. And so I thought I would come on here and talk to you guys about this. So let's go ahead and get started. When I talked about the post, I asked what are some of the things that were on your guys' minds. And two of the things that came up were, actually three things that came up was uh, engagement. You wanted me to talk a little bit about engagement. Uh, story, or the length of the caption underneath the photo that you post. And the winner of the free, or of the uh, five day challenge last week. I'm telling you it was close because I love it that when you know you guys put your minds to it, you guys are like blowing up your Instagrams. And so, you know, it's that momentum, you know, it's that thing that you just carry on if you, you do it for five days, but do it for 25 days, do it for 105 days, and you'll see the effect just compound upon itself. And there's an excellent book out there I would love to recommend to you is called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And it, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump my desk there. And it will very accurately describe what it is I'm talking about right here. So, with that said, Let's talk about story, your caption length or story length. A lot of times that's you know where your story would go to is underneath that picture. So somebody just messaged me and they're like, hey, uh, you know, how long should it be? How long is too long? So am I gonna write this caption? Am I gonna bore the follower? Am I gonna be like, well, this is too much for me to read, okay? Or is it not enough? So are you not sharing enough content with your followers and therefore they're gonna scroll on past? So here's what I would offer to you. In my mind, there is no real secret sauce to how long your caption should be. As long as it is full of value and it offers something to the follower, then I personally don't worry about those sort of things. So let's talk about followers for a second. A lot of times, we as social media, you know, business promoters or owners or anything like that, we tend to worry a lot about what people think about us. So little things like the post picture that I post. Why isn't it getting enough likes? Uh, the caption that I put, is it too long? Is it too boring? Oh my gosh, you know. Well, the thing is about, the great thing about social media marketing is in Facebook alone, there's over a billion people. And in, in Instagram, last time I checked, there was over 700 million people. Somewhere, and that's a lot of people. That is huge. That's not just, you know, your small town that you're from or the block. 700 million people, okay? Millions and millions and millions of those people in the US and Canada alone, which I know a lot of the customer base from health and wellness industries are from. So all you really need to be successful on Instagram is maybe a thousand of those people that are tuned in and dialed into you, okay? So maybe, you know, a thousand to whatever it may be. So when you talk about caption length or how your pictures look, as long as you are consistently reaching out to people and inviting people to your Instagram and inviting people to your content and those people come in and they see your value and they like you and they like what you put out there, they're going to read whatever you put out there. As long as it stays in line with your niche and it offers value, they're going to read it because they're going to love it because they're going to love you. So that's why consistency is so important. And you know, I, uh, I put out some training out there and now I'm going to put a plug for my training. If you have not signed up yet for my free three video training that I put out concerning Instagram engagement, one of the things I talk about in there is how do I keep people on my account? How do I keep them engaged? 
Well, people care if you care. So if you are not there, if you're not consistent, or you're putting out maybe one post a day or one post every couple days, that's how often they're gonna to come to your account. So you gotta keep them excited, you gotta keep them engaged by staying consistent. And by keeping a consistent, positive, valuable, mes valuable message to them, they're gonna stay dialed in and they're gonna treat you as if it's their, you're their favorite TV show or something. And if all of a sudden you were to fall off, and they're like freak out like, ah, you know, where's my favorite show? Oh my gosh, I love this account. You know, like my food prep life, I post three times a day, sometimes four. And um, I get people tell me all the time, I love your account. I just love it. And now I have other accounts that are counting on me to promote their stuff. You know, and if all of a sudden I fell out the face in the air, that's a lot of people I might upset. And I don't want to do that. So long story, a long answer to a short question, how long should my caption should be? To me, as long as the followers you have are dialed in with you, they love you, and they care about your message, it doesn't matter. Just put your best value out there. And that's the final thing I gotta say about that. All right, and then engagement. So follower engagement, that's a, that's a tricky thing. That's a lot. And I really, really think I dialed it down really well in my three free video series. And I think the link is on the page somewhere. But you just sign up and you'll get all three videos at once in your email and you can just watch them all. And those should really answer your questions about engagement. I mean, like I said, it all really stems back to how often you're in your, you know, your account. Because how often you're in your account and you engage with people, they'll reciprocate and be with you, if that makes sense. So I say, well, what if people are watching and not saying anything? Well, basic psych social media psychology 101 is why do people post on social media? Why do they do it? Why do we do it? Because dang it, we wanna be heard. That's like basic human nature 101. We want people to hear us. We wanna express ourselves and therefore we want you know, people to bring, to bring it back to us. So um, fulfill that need. Somebody posts under your Instagram, you heart it, the little, instead of the like, you know, the Instagram has a little heart, not the like. You heart it and you reply to them with a substantial comment. Hey, thanks for commenting. Yes, I do love this recipe. It's something I've been making for my kids for years. And, you know, that goes a long way. Because if they see that you care enough to respond to them, they'll be more willing to stay in your account longer. So pay attention to that sort of thing. So let's talk. Uh, I talked about that. I talked about story length. So again, I'm going to plug my three free video series that I just put up. Uh, the link is on the timeline. If not, I'll go ahead and put in the comments of this live video. And I really encourage you guys to get in there and look at that. It's something I worked really hard to put together. A lot of great content. And finally, I want to talk about the winner of the five day challenge that happened last week. And I want to tell you right now, we had some real rock stars. I'm actually going to start calling you all Instagram ninjas, if that's okay. We had some serious Instagram ninjas just kill it every single day for, you know, three times a day, five days a week. So um, it was hard picking the winner. It really was because there was some, y'all y'all rock. But the winner is the admin for the account for Fitness Trainer Faith. So what happened is I will contact you DM and I will send you, basically it's like a, it's a, in, like an Amazon gift card or something. I don't know what it is, but it is a free copy of Gary Vaynerchuk's book, The Thank You Economy, and you're going to get it if you have a phone or if you have a tablet, you can read it on your Kindle app, or if you prefer a paper copy, just let me know. But congratulations to Fitness Trainer Faith. Awesome job last week, and we're going to hold another contest real soon because I love giving away free stuff. It's kind of like what I like to do. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to come on here today was talk to you guys about. Uh, thank you so much for staying engaged on my page. Uh, I'm looking forward to keep working with you guys and, can, and uh, provide you great c content. So without any further, this is Rob saying bye.